Today I thought I would do the new trend of in and outs for 2024. Hello, my name's Rachel, I do videos about decluttering, minimalism and my nose spend year and today I wanted to jump on the trend and tell you my ins and outs for 2024. I thought this would be a great way to kind of get to know each other a little bit because I know that there's a lot of new followers lately so I wanted to share with you a little bit about myself, what I think is important for the next year to come and what I have done in the past that I do not want to carry on into 2024. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my ins for 2024. This is what I want to do more of or start doing if I haven't started. The first one that I want to do is to read more. And I say this every year and I'm often demotivated or I'm too tired because I have chronic fatigue syndrome. So for me, reading is now really important. And I also want to be that person that carries a book around and reads anywhere and everywhere because I used to do that and I've lost that in the last like 10 years. So I want to bring that back, reading out anywhere in public and as much as I can. My second in for 2024 is healthy food. I've already started by, what got me started on this one was watching You Are What You Eat on Netflix. It was really insightful about how much damage eating meat can do to the environment, to our health and our bodies. It was a scientific study that they did about the difference between a healthy meat eating diet and a healthy vegetarian diet or plant based diet. Um, so no so no food products from any animals. And it was really interesting to see the benefits of healthy eating by eating more veg and being more plant based. So although I'm not necessarily fully cutting out meat at this point, I want to get better at cooking vegetarian meals because I'm not very good at cooking and that is a goal so that I can have more veg and have vegetarian dishes like most of the week. So I'm not a huge meat eater anyway, I don't like lots. I know that my son does so I need to strike a bit of a balance. But there's lots of meals that I could do that I know how to twist into vegetarian or vegan. So I'm going to start with that. And I've got myself a new cookbook as well that's all about how to cook veg. So I got it second hand before anybody says anything about spending money. <laughs> I got it really cheap. Um, so I could really get cracking on that one. My next in is more time outside. I am quite an advocate for going out and getting fresh air and walking. I do lots of it already but I need to do more. I need to do daily walking. I know that that is really good for my health. And at the minute, walking is about the most exercise I can do with my fatigue at the minute. But if I can build up daily walking and build up the amount of times about walking each day, I can then be in a position to start taking on some more vigorous exercise. So that is my starting point. Getting outside in nature, getting that fresh air, and I just find it really grounding. So I know that that's going to be really beneficial for me. I mean, I would say this one is an in travel, but it was already in last year for me. Absolutely the same goal is to travel places and see the world either around Europe or within the UK I just want to get out and about more and do more things not necessarily all of the time I don't want to be busy, but I would like to go and see new things and make sure that I've got as much of that as I would like to do My next one is to spend more quality time with friends. I know that I got better at doing that last year in general but there were still some months like in the winter where I found that really difficult because I was ill and then others were ill so it does make it more difficult but I want to find more ways of doing things with friends. Next I want to build my capsule wardrobe and make sure that it is complete. I feel like I've edited down quite a lot recently. I think I've done my third or fourth wardrobe declutter. <laughs> I'll leave a link um, for you to watch if you would like but I have edited down quite a lot and I think I'm I'm not at a capsule wardrobe because I know that that is a really reduced wardrobe but I'm getting closer and I feel like my editing down is getting me a little bit more streamlined and it is so much easier to get ready, so much easier to choose things. I know that I've got some things that I like for more occasion wear but I also have lots of everyday wear that I do use all of the time. So I feel like I still need to sort out my trouser selection. I still feel like that is not enough everyday wear and more work wear so I do need to fix that but generally I feel like my collection is reducing down and I really want a nice easy 
get ready in the morning situation and that's going to help big time. And it's also going to stop me spending money because I'm very much an impulse purchase person and for me when I edited my wardrobe I realised that a lot of the impulse purchases that I bought in the last maybe two years I didn't want to keep anymore so they were not thought through enough for what I needed so I really want to be capsule wardrobe mindset now. Artificial intelligence. I know that people have mixed feelings about this but I feel like there's ways that I can use this to get me motivated, to get me thinking of new ideas and kind of generating ideas for me to pan out. I think there's lots of potential there to make my workload a little bit more easy and I want to explore that and see what options there are for either my social media creation or for work within teaching. So I would like to see the benefits that there are from artificial intelligence in a in a constructive way. My next one is dressing up. And this is like everyday dressing up. Always wanting to put on my best outfit and find a new outfit and kind of using my capsule wardrobe to really show the best of me. I want to present myself nicely each day. I think sometimes I can get really lazy in my selection of what I wear and it's the same items and sometimes I'm not putting in effort to kind of present myself in the way that I want to and that's kind of what I would like to change my mindset on. So I want to dress up on a daily basis. That doesn't mean like full glam makeup, it just means me feeling comfortable in what I'm wearing and kind of feeling my best at every opportunity because why not? Why do I only put on my best stuff for a special occasion when I should be doing that on an everyday basis. You know, that's what it's there for. Every day is special, every day is important. So treat it that way. Next up is music events. I have already booked quite a few events throughout the year, which I'm very excited about. So more music events, more tickets to things and getting out and doing things with friends and family because it's what I really enjoy. I love music and the right music can make me feel really good. So I want more of that in my daily life. Next up is art, and I don't have very many artist pieces within my home. I've got kind of prints from artists, but I would like to start looking at different art and how that makes me feel and getting some pieces within my home. It is going to cost me money, so it might be something that I think about near the end of the year when I've paid off my holidays and things, but I would like to spend some money on some art and make my home feel like it's really what I want it to be and that cosy exciting vibes and my last in for 2024 is clear boundaries I think I started to do this in 2023 but not enough of I need to set clear boundaries with um, friends family with work probably mostly work is just knowing what my boundaries are when I'm working what hours I am committed to working because I can easily kind of get carried away in the evenings and I just don't want that and I can't do that. The fatigue is too much so I do need to think of ways of having clear boundaries and saying no more often. So having really clear boundaries is going to help with that. If you're enjoying this video so far don't forget to give it a thumbs up and press the subscribe button so that you can know when I have new videos coming out and particularly turn on that bell for notifications. Okay, now let's talk about my outs for 2024. These things have absolutely got to leave my life. And first up is impulse purchases. I'm very much guilty of an impulse purchase. If I get an idea in my head, like I've just had one recently about how to help my son be more organised in his room, I'm kind of now like on a whirlwind of, I need to sort this now. So I'm trying to buy the things that I want to make it work, but then I'm also then not considering the price and then not thinking about the practicalities of the item long term. So I do need to stop those impulse purchases and especially with clothing, that's where I've tripped up and bought things that I have not wanted to keep for my capsule wardrobe. So impulse purchases are out. Oversharing. I definitely overshare with certain people in my life and I think to a degree that's okay but I think I overshare too much on some things and I need to rein it in a little bit um, just because I think a lot of it is unnecessary. I think I share certain things over and over because I feel like I need to be heard but actually I've heard it and if one other person has spoken to me and heard it then do I need to share it with everybody? Is it 
something that I need to announce or is it something that I can just tell as and when rather than specifically trying to go out of my way to share with people. Next up is saying sorry all of the time. So I'll say sorry at anything and everything. And I don't know why I do it to that extent. It doesn't really need to happen because I feel like then the sorry that I do say when it's needed is not as important. I think I need to be more specific about when I'm saying sorry and not just say it to everything that I'm doing. I say it all of the time and it just needs to be toned down a peg. Overworking definitely needs to go out for 2024. I think I need to be more efficient with my time. I need to plan. I find when I time block and I plan things out, I'm the most productive. If I'm doing things on a whim, I can just go off on tangents and not really get the immediate job done. So I need to stop overworking and really be efficient with my time. People pleasing. I do this a lot. I definitely got better last year, but it definitely needs to stop. I don't need to care what any and everybody thinks of me or if I'm nice to them all the time. It's okay to be nice to people, but I think I go over and above when it's unnecessary. I need I can be pleasant, but without being over generous of my time and energy to people that don't really appreciate it. So I need to stop people pleasing. I just need to do what's important for me and my family. Late bedtimes is something that I have phases with. So sometimes I find it difficult to sleep at night, but then that's probably because I've fallen asleep on the sofa early in the evening and that's it's kind of creating issues with my sleep. So I need to get better at regulating my bedtime. My wake time is pretty good. I have a consistent similar wake time every day and I wake up before my alarm. So that's all quite okay. It's the bedtime that I need to regulate and just make sure it's not too late. And if I'm early enough, then I get my reading in. So I just need to be productive and correct on it just to settle things down and hope, hopefully that will help. And lastly, I need to stop overthinking. And I do this a lot. And I know that when I'm stressed, I overthink even more. Um, it's kind of a, you know, domino effect. But I need to find ways of rationalising that overthinking. So giving myself like worry time to think about something and then cutting it off. Because otherwise I can go over and over things in my head which are unnecessary and don't really, it doesn't really help me solve anything. It doesn't really help me get any clarity on it I either need to speak to whoever I need to speak to or I need to action the thing I need to action I would love to know what your ins and outs are for 2024 let me know in the comments below and we can get to know each other a little bit more hopefully you've enjoyed this video and found out a little bit about me in kind of my personality and kind of what I'm like I would love for you to join our community so get involved and let me know what you think I should be back for more videos soon take care bye